Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a bit different from all the others, to say the least. Because I'm not reviewing a dinosaur for once, I'm reviewing John Hammond. I'm just kidding, I'm not reviewing the character John Hammond, I'm, I'm reviewing the, his Amber Collection action figure. The box kind of fell apart when I tried opening it. Look at this. <laughs> okay, and like the last video, I'm going to read the little excerpt on the back. John Hammond, Jurassic Park. John Hammond's desire and drive to create Jurassic Park is the work of a true visionary. While well, he spared no expense, the first visitors to this one-of-a-kind park could receive more than what they bargained for in every respect. The heck, what the heck just happened to my voice? <laughs> anyway, here's the figure itself. I think for the most part, it does look quite a lot like John Hammond. <laughs> okay, the the glasses seem to be their own molded piece, just like the human figure. And I love the attention to detail with the cane, which I lost, I actually lost the cane that came with Hammond in the raptor escape set so it's good to have another cane you also i love the articulation for his legs if i can move the legs jeez <laughs> the legs are really stiff are the arms stiff they're not as stiff the hands though feel a bit loose Also, the cane seems sort of bent. Granted, I was kind of rough with it when I was trying to get it out. They even put the mosquito. You might not be able to see it, but they did put the mosquito on the amber. So, yeah, it looks a lot like Hammond. Also, I'm sorry. I have all the interchangeable body parts for the action figure just lying on a shelf in front of me. So, here we have his severed head. I can't believe I'm actually holding John Hammond's action figure's head. I never thought this day would come. Yeah, this is basically just Hammond without the hat the hat on. Also, probably one of the cooler things to come from this action figure is the baby raptor from the laboratory scene in the first movie. The detail and texture on this thing is really, really cool. Look, they even painted the little pupils on the eyes, which I do not have a clue how they did that. Would have needed the world's smallest paintbrush. The yeah, attention to detail with this figure is just incredible. They even painted the... Like, not that this is impressive enough, they even painted his watch. How cool is that? Okay, and... Uh, <laughs> now I'm holding his hands. Uh, look at that. Oh my god, I'm holding it, Hammond's freaking hands. Hammond's hands. Hang on, can you... Oh yeah, this is probably what the egg was for. Look, you can hold the egg with this hand. I'm holding a hand, holding a hatching baby velociraptor. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> so yeah, here's one that's pointing at you. Yeah, it's not nice to point people. It's not nice to point people. All in all, though, I think this figure is really cool. I haven't had, I don't have any of the Ambo Collection human figures. Only human figures I have are the Dieter Stark from The Lost World, Big Man Owen from The Lost World, and he's in his package still. Who else? Oh, yeah, Ellie Sattler, but she's still in a package. I also have the normal Mattel, Ellie, and Hammond. So yeah, this will be a good new addition to the human figures in my collection. Anyways, that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss any new videos. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. I spend no expense for the next video. <laughs> I was trying to turn it off using the cane.